Uh, be Andy Rich Wallace. We're joined right now by one of the legends of Western Pennsylvania golf who's made quite a name for himself, Mr. Rocco Mediate. Hey, Rocco, how you doing? And uh, it's great to catch up with you. You look great. Everybody's good. We're just down in Florida getting ready to start start up this year. Our Champions Tour starts late and we start slow. So I guess we're old, <laughs> so they don't want to kill us early. But, you know, so that's all. I'm just getting ready, as usual, for all these years. Rocco, we're in the middle of the Masters right now. You've actually led the Masters. You've you've mm -hmm. placed. You've you've finished high. What I think your top finish is fifteenth. But you know, what's mm -hmm. it like heading into that final round and you know, even leading the Masters in general? What's it like playing there? Well, playing there, it's Augusta National is obviously a special place. It's just, it's wild. It's so up and down and so there's so hilly and there's so much motion in the golf course. It's it's insane. It's but it, you know, growing up at home in Midwestern PA. It's not that hilly, <laughs> so uh, it, it, I always like those up, 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 down lies, fast, fast, fast greens, um, which we grew up with at home. So it was just like being home. It's just in Georgia. I want to ask you about a brutal hole that has really been uh, the undoing of a lot of golfers, and I don't mean to bring up unpleasant memories for you, but it's that well, little tiny par three, number twelve, yeah. Ray's Creek in front, uh -huh. only one hundred and forty some yards, and and yeah, yet you had your. You had your problems on that hole. What happened on that day, and why is that so difficult? That hole. Well, that day was that's when the back on the on the Saturday, well, the third round, which was Sunday, we had to finish. We we finished like twenty some odd holes, twenty six or seven holes on Sunday that that year because it rained real bad on Friday. I was hurt and hurt and got to twelve. Same thing. Back went bye bye. Just miss hit an eight iron a little bit. Hit another thing went where we're supposed to go right in the water. And then three balls later, I think I got onto the green. <laughs> um, and I, I remember Brandon, who's getting for me, who's out from La Trobe up there. I went, how many balls do we have left? <laughs> I was off without a ball. It was pathetic. But back was, you know, I didn't play for like four or five months after that. I was, I was, it was, a, I was a mess. Uh, and I get under the tree and everybody's waiting because they want to hear about the car wreck. And I said, all right, all right, all right. Hold on a second, guys. I only have one question. Then you can ask one. What's the record high score? on number 12 they said 12 i went so i did all that for nothing no record books nothing i got nothing and they just lost it and then we had a good time because what are you going to do cry i mean yeah. we can cry about it no just one of those things that happened and you know i was lucky to get through i was lucky to finish so that was fine but it was pretty funny pretty funny i think that's what makes you so so cool to be around because you have such a good sense of humor and it's a yeah, self-deprecating kind it's of humor golf. yeah yeah it's golf Sure. <laughs> and it keeps you humble, that's for sure. Rich and I were talking about uh, one of your amazing moments because, you know, Tiger Woods is Tiger Woods. And then when he dominated and, and went through, there was one guy, and it was you who had a chance to bring him down at the 2008 U.S. Open at Torrey mm -hmm. Pines. And I, th that is astounding to me that you not only took him to a sudden death day, but you also had to go after that. It was so close, but that 18th hole... Mm -hmm. You were in position to win. All he had to do was make a putt, but many golfers wouldn't have made that putt. He made the putt to force the, the sudden death the next day. You know, that's one of those, you know, I played a lot of golf with him in his day, um, a lot. Most of my career, well, three quarters of my career, he was there. It was great. Um, you wanted that shot. You wanted to play with him. You wanted to be around him. Uh, well, most people did. Uh, some people didn't. But uh, I enjoyed that noise and chaos. It was chaos. And I enjoy chaos. I, I live in chaos. So it, it was, it was really special. And then for that to happen, it was, it, it was insanely special. I knew he was going to make it. No, I wasn't like, Oh my God, I can't. No, of course he's going to make it. It's like anybody else, no chance. I, I say this and it's not even being disrespectful. It's being, it's a fact. If anybody else would have had that putt to tie, I probably would have been walking to the press room going, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't believe I just won the US Open, but not with him. Not with no matter, even where he laid up his third shot, which was dead. It was, you know, he didn't left bunker laid up. He was dead. I mean, you, but he had a beautiful shot. Anyway, long story short, I still was going, someone's making four here, either him or Westwood, more likely Tiger. Because Westwood had a 12, 15, 12 footer to tie two left short. So, you, yeah. So there could have been three in the playoff. I'm glad there wasn't because it was way better with just him and I, I thought. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Most fun you could ever have. Um, but, you know, that's what you want as, you know, if, if, if like I said, if we played 10 days in a row back then, for sure going to beat me nine. But what about the other day here or there? I'm going to ask you just one final thing here about your career now. 
moving forward into this Champions Tour because it's uh, it's amazing. You can continue to play this game to whenever you want to. And yeah. you, you, you were one of those guys who, and I saw the Safeway event where you were holling out from everywhere. I've never seen anything <laughs> like that. That Is was that, crazy. Hey, man, thanks no, for the time. No, it makes no sense to most people. You got it, guys. Take care. We appreciate thanks a lot, Rocco. All right. We'll All the you. best on that tour, too. Thanks. Rocco Media, it's always fun and entertaining to talk to you. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. When we come back, another man who has a history with the Masters, he had an opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime chance to play with Arnold Palmer at the Masters. That's coming up next right here on Living Room Sports. Living Room Sports is presented by J.P. Roofing and DraftKings Sportsbook.